All right now, my friend. A very pleasant good night, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ and outside the body of Christ. Well, once again, this is your little Christian brother, Eric Braxton, speaking to you all from his beloved country, Trinidad and Tobago, the land of my nativity, the land of my birth, Trinidad and Tobago, this wonderful island country that is in the Blue Caribbean Sea in the month of July 2020. Brothers and sisters, this video is to my brothers and sisters that is in the atheist community. Not only in Dallas, Texas, but all over the world. And you know that by now, those who are listening to my video, that that atheist community is negativity. It cannot benefit no one. Because Psalms 14, a fool in his heart, say there is no God. Matt Donald Dalty, my dear atheist brother, I hear you was talking on the show. And you said there was a video and done back on my next atheist brother. Well, you're all a little Christian brother, Eric Braxton. I'm here to say to both of you all, my two atheist brothers, that you all say there was no first two human beings, but you all accept there was a first computer. There was a first submarine was created, whether by the Americans or the Russians. There was a first airplane invented, whether by the French or the Germans. Is that true? Of course, that is true. The record will show that. There was a first helicopter invented by the Americans or whatsoever nation. So there's first in these things, but when coming to the human beings, there's no first human beings. You see the silliness that you all honor? And I, Eric Braxton, your only little Christian brother, are putting it to you, Matt Donald Dalty and Dan Barker, and all the rest of you all. In the atheist community, there was a first human being. But the record that said there was a first human being, which is the Holy Bible, you all have, this, have rejected that record. And saying that record is not true because you all doesn't believe in it in the first place. But the first human being in the historical record, God created Adam. Yes, he was the first person human being. And when God created Adam, I could assure you all, Eve was not in the pit here. It is a light, little while after, God saw that Adam was lone, lonely. He knew that from the beginning, but this is the manner that he speak. And he decided to create a woman for the man, his wife. But there was a first human being. God started off with one. And with one, look how much billions or trillions of people have come in the world. And more, millions and billions of people have come in the world each day and night. Like one person God start off. Mm -hmm. God could have created Adam and Eve the same time, but he chose not to do that. He chose with one person, Adam. And we might be upset with that. We might be upset with that. A lot of people, but not I. I am not upset with that. I accept that a full hundred percent what God do in Genesis. But all this message is to you, Matt and Aldalti and Dan Barker, and all my atheist brothers and sisters in the atheist community who will say that the Bible is a book of foolishness and that record is not true. It is true. And whether you all reject it, what is recorded in the Bible, it will mean that way. And before I end this video, I am saying to mankind everywhere, no man will not change this. Not even the saints of God could change that. God created the first man, Adam. And God decided to do that. And if God decided to create the first man, which he did, we will have to accept that. We might have our own ideas. You know, God should not create one man. He should create Adam and Eve at the same time. Well, God did not do it that way. He decided to create one man. And God do that. And we will have to accept that. I accept it. I am not fighting against that. And all of you all who reject it and want to fight against that and say that that idea is foolish and God didn't do that. Well, he did it that way. And you all will not change that because you all are not wiser and more intelligent than God. Yeah, you all will say that I am backing God. That's exactly what I'm doing. I'm backing God. I am backing God all the way. Yes, I am backing them all the way. Yes, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that's what I'm doing. Yes, 
I am doing that, this little Christian boy. And I know all the Christians are doing that. Yes, they are packing God at foot point to seven. He did it the right the, that way. And we will have to accept that and live with that and abide with that. A lot of you all who are upset and eating up all yourself over that. You all have to stop eating up all yourself over that. And accept it with a humble mind. And of course with a humble heart. That's the way to go. I have gone that way. And I'm abiding that way. Accepting that way. Yes. So you, Mark Donald Dalty and Mark Barker, Don Barker, that saying there was not two human, it wasn't, God, there was not two human beings, no first two human beings. Well, there was not two first, two first human beings, there was one human being, a man, Adam, and a little while after, the next human being, God make him, make that person Eve. And of course, when they had sex after, the multiplication come. But I'm not dealing with that. I'm dealing with the first man, Adam, and then Eve after. Yes, that's a record. And with all the talk that you all talking, and with all the lecture and the debates that you all are getting into, you done, you Mark Dundell Dalty and Don Barker, my two atheist brothers, you all will not change that. You all will not change that. A matter of fact, no man cannot change that. The past generation have lived and died. Have they changed it? The answer is no. Follow me carefully. Where all the people who live in the 14th and the 15th century, they have died and gone. None of them haven't changed it. And I'm seeing the current generation, the little boys and girls who are born in the world, they are coming and they're they, they meeting it that way. You think they will change it? They will not be able to change it, neither. Uh, so I use that example with the past generation, human beings who have lived and gone and haven't changed it. And the current generation of human beings born in the world, using that to say mankind as a whole will not change that. And we have to learn that reality early o'clock. Those you all, if you all learn it, learn that late, late o'clock, no problem. The most important thing you all learn it. You all have to accept that facts. You all those who heart and mind is heart as stone, heart as stone as the children of Israel, and want to reject that reality, well, you already recognize that that reality is true, that God created one man, Adam, and not two human beings. Yeah, you all want to all the vex with God, that he created one man, he should have created two human beings, uh, one multitude of people together, like how he created the angels. Now, well, he didn't choose to create the angels, billions or trillions of them at the same time. With human beings, he decided to start with one human being. Yes, he decided to do that. And all, all who reject that, who don't want to accept that, well, God already done it that way. And no human beings will not change that. Yes, that's exactly what Eric Braxton is telling all and sundry. Yes. Mm hmm exactly what this little Christian boy is teaching you all and telling you all. Read it for yourself in the book of Genesis. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We will not change that. Brothers and sisters, brothers and sisters, so wake up to that reality. Wake up to that reality, brothers and sisters. I know a lot of you all might be saying that Eric Braxton is very rude sometimes. Eh? Oh, he just be talking down to us. Like he think that he's more, um, more wiser and more clever and more educated than us. No, this is my style of talking. I talked in that manner to drive home the point the truth to you all. I'm not talking down to you all. I'm talking up to you all, but I'm doing it in that way. So I beg of you all to accept what I am saying humbly. My dear brothers and sisters, Do not find fault with God. There is no fault in God. God is perfect. The fault is in mankind. And all those who have sinned. Not in God. Right? But according to you all, you all are saying that God is too big. A lot of you all who believe, who, who say in Valam, God is this great God, and I don't believe he started off with one human being. 
Well, that is exactly when you start off with one human being, brothers and sisters. Did he start that way with the angels? No, 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 no. He created them different to us. And he didn't create one angel. He created all the angels together. So, classic example. If it's a hundred trillion angels he create, you know, all of them come to existence at the same time. Well, that's the fact of the matter too. But with human beings, he didn't decide to do it go that way. He decided to start off with one human being. And that's what the historical record, the Holy Bible, in Genesis have shown us that. I have accepted that of 100% brothers and sisters. So, Sota, you mark Dan Alanti and Dan Baka and all the rest who are fighting up with that and rejecting that and saying that doesn't make sense. And it has no sense in it, according to all you. And that historical record, the Bible is not true. Mm -hmm. Can you all if you all are saying that is not true, you mark Donald Dante and you mark Don Barker. Well, if you all have the truth and denying the truth of the Bible, you all are saying that is false, then can you all produce where God created two persons at the same time? Can you all bring the proof that God created Adam and Eve at the same time? Bring it and show it to the world. This is a challenge to both of you all. And not only to you all, but other scientists or men of high learning of academia or any part of the world who have that evidence to prove that God did not create one human being but he start off with multiple human beings if not two if not two one if, if it's not two but three four five bring that evidence and produce it to the world and we so that all and sundry would see it I am a and a challenging any one of you all the whole day to bring that facts that evidence and prove it i am saying that facts doesn't exist and there's no evidence to support that i am holding on to what the bible say that god created one human being adam and a little while after the second human being eve to all those who reject the Bible and reject what I say because I support the Bible and I believe in the Bible well then if you all are saying what we are saying is falsehood and what we believe in is falsehood and according to you all the Bible is not the words of God like a white man book and all kind of thing as people they say well then if you all have the truth the facts produce it to us show it to the world don't keep it in the closet bring it out of the closet and show it to all and sundry but facts where God, where two human beings were created or three human beings were created. I say in that facts does not exist and there is no record about that. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. But I know it have teachings on that. That God created multiple people together and he did not create two people and all these things. But I just theories. I just theories. Anybody could write that in a book. Yes, but pen. And paper, a person could take up a pen and paper and write, God create five people together. No, ten people together. Five men and five women together. And the next man could just take up a pen and put it on paper. God create ten, twenty men together and twenty women together. But I just teaching, I just, I just, I just information put on a paper. But that is not facts. Ah. In Genesis, it's facts because God Himself is saying, uh -huh, I create the first man, I create the moon, I create the stars. You see the difference? Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, brothers and sisters. So, I want, before I come to the end of this video, I want Matt Daniel Dalti and Dan Barker, my two atheist brothers, and all the rest in the atheist community, and all over the world. You all have it wrong. You all have it wrong. The Bible is right. And God, in fact, did create one man, Adam, and then Eve. And it will remain that way. And to end this video, no man will not change that. That's the record. That's how God do it. And it will remain that way. And it will not change. Bye, my friends. See you all in the next video soon. Bye, my friends.